Hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Pro Dota Comedy done by Luminous. Today I'm casting Virtus Pro versus Team Dignitas. Generally, I give you guys a little bit more of an introduction, but uh, the pick and ban is well underway, and my co caster today wants to actually cover the entire pick and ban. So let's get right into it. My co caster today is going to be Eternal Envy from No Tie Hunter. So, what's up, Envy? Uh, that's good. I'm looking at these bans, and uh, Virtus Pro banned Wisp and Phantom Lancer in like two seconds, like instant ban. Um, Dignitas uses Wisp Tiny a lot, Wisp anything a lot, Wisp, like Morphling, Wisp, Nagus, Siren, they use Wisp for freaking everything, so it's a good ban, and Wisp is a good hero, and Dignitas has been relying on Nagus, Siren, and uh, um, Phantom Lancer a lot, like with the Calling Blade and stuff, but I believe Calling Blade's banned in this tournament, so I'm surprised they still banned it, but AUI has been using PL every game. Unless yeah, it's banned, Ray, so. Raycall, Raycall specifically banned Quelling Play interaction with PL because they're saying like it's bugged. And I have heard that it's being fixed, but I'm not actually positive on that. Do you know for sure? Or? Um, yeah, it's fixed this patch, but I'm not. I haven't tested. Okay. Um, yeah. And these guys are just like having bans flying out. So. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, I think the ban on the bat and um, the bat is directed to Santa. Santa plays a uh, bat a lot. He he switches to mid when um they pick it or short lane. Okay. But he's a long lane player. Uh, the NA ban, I don't, I don't think it has any real meaning other than the hero is really good. I don't think VP picks that hero that much. Dana Toss uh, first picks Cottle, like over many heroes, and they, they did pick in the first two. Um, I think the Darkster usually off lanes. I, rarely does Fog play uh, mid Darkster. Usually he plays Queen of Pain or Windrunner or something for mid. So. Yeah, I mean, generally um, you don't run the, the Darkster mid unless you're seeing that tier on the other side. Or when you're trying to do something kind of crazy strap. But looking at so far right now, Darkster and Keeper of Light, it's looking really difficult for Virtus Pro to actually go high ground against this team because Vacuum really shuts you down. And we know what Keeper can do uh, when it's stopping pushes. So, what is Virtus Pro looking at in terms of how the game is coming along? Because Luna's a decent pusher, Lestrax a decent pusher, and Bounty is annoying with that track. So, are they are they looking to end the game soon? Just judging with the pick so far, or you can't really tell either way. Well, I mean, the Lush Track Luna, I mean, it's a push lineup, but Luna can make it to a late game pretty sure, well, and yeah. the Bounty Hunter is really good late game as well, especially with the track goat, so it's not like they have to push. They can, though. Oh, Windrunner pick. I think that Windrunner is going to go mid. Fog, uh, he played Windrunner a lot recently, mid, and I think he's won every game he picked Windrunner mid. Yeah, actually, Windrunner is one of, one of those heroes that we know like could go on the long lane. We've seen it actually support on lane for Chinese games, and obviously... Like you said, could be going mid. What do you think about this hero? Like, do you think her potential is the highest if she gets enough farm, like on the mid lane, or if she is okay on the long lane? Well, the thing is, like, obviously she benefits a lot from in the mid lane, but there are other heroes that benefit just as much or better. So right. that's the reason to why she's not set mid. Okay. It's not really because of like, like how much she benefits, but how much other heroes benefit. More than the Windrunner does. Okay. Yeah. So, actually very surprising to see that Magnus uh, went to the second phase, although of course Magnus was nerfed. I still see teams actually pick, pick him a lot and put him on the long lane despite the nerf. And I personally don't like that, and I actually... You, you say you dislike that I as well, right? Yeah, yeah, you hate that. Okay, on the long lane, because... He, he loses too much to many solos. What about before, when he had the, what, like, OP range skewer? Was that more okay then? On the long well, lane? I mean, he, he he loses to solos regardless of before the patch or after a patch. Sure. But I mean, he's really bad against the tri lanes now as well because only 600 range is that, or 400 range? I think 600 range. 600 range, yes. Yeah. Whereas before it was a thousand two hundred, so he, okay. he got changed a lot. So right now, uh, Versus Pro is banning a whole bunch of very very tanky carries, life sealer, Bear, as well as undying. And then meanwhile here on Team Dignus now is banning on more team far oriented heroes here, uh, Enigma. Magnus and Shadow Demon, and I, I don't really, I mean, maybe you could shed a little bit more light on, on the ban, the second ban stage, but this doesn't seem anything out of the ordinary here. Um, the ban on Lone Druid is really good because uh, there's a Dark Star, and if you put Iron Shell on the Lone Druid, it's pretty strong, and AUI plays, uh, he's, he's pretty infamous for his right, right, obviously. Uh, Silver. Um, the, the, the Nax ban, I, I mean, the Nax ban is just a good ban because the hero is really good, and Nax is good against Luna, you can just pop Rage. And you can just try to kill Luna. The so Luna's ulti doesn't do much to you. And if they're gonna pick Queen of Pain, then you know Nax is good against that as well. Also, if you Nax jumps into a hero, then the Cuddle can bring that hero over, and then all of a sudden you bring three heroes over. It's not that big, um, like a thing. 
but I mean, it does happen. Right, I mean, sometimes you're, let's say, trading towers, your, your team's pushing top, you can actually maybe even defend your own towers uh, after taking there, so yeah, there's a lot more mobilities, and, and Dying is one of those heroes that we've seen it from, uh, you know, all, all the time, uh, and I'm, again, I'm very surprising that I made it to the second phase, but it seems like the uh, the picks are, have been shifting quite a bit. What I'm personally a little bit more surprised about is the Temple Assassin's not even here, picked or banned. Um, what do you think about that hero in this particular game? Maybe it's not as useful on, on Virtus Pro because there's a Darkseer, but now there's a Bane, Bane pick, and, and Bane's actually doing a lot of work lately. Well, I, I want to mention uh, the Bane thing first. So, with Bane and Cuddle, they might go for aggressive channel and you can sleep into Illuminate. Cuddle Blast. Yeah. And if they go Garrocopter, they can go sleep into Illuminate, into Rocket, um, stuff like that. And they might try to slow down Aluna's farm. Uh, Darkstar does fairly well against Bounty Hunter solo, so they might be looking into that. Uh, and the Windrunner does even against Queen of Pain. Yeah, and we're uh, still assuming that Windrunner is going mid. Doom! <laughs> is, that okay. jungle? is that jungle? That has to be, that has to be a jungle, Doom. I'm blanking right now. Like, there's no other way to lane him, right? Queen of Pain is going mid. Bounty's on, you know, the either the, the long lane or... or Maybe even offensive or defensive uh, short lane, and then yeah, it has to be Jungle Doom. And actually, when Doom first came out after the the big above, everybody's talking about oh, Jungle Doom is the thing. And every pub player was saying every that. pub player was talking about the Jungle Doom thing. And of course, you talked about this uh, uh, possibility of Bane Gyrocopter Keeper long lane with a sleep to actually set it up. So we'll actually see how Virtus Pro runs this. This is actually the first time I've seen him being ran, and I Doom? think if it, or in a pro game, yeah, myself. He he was used uh, against us two days ago. Okay. Em Empire used it. How how did that they one work it. out? They used a scourge and they we stomped them the first game. We lost the two the two games afterwards in the stomps too. Okay. But um, Doom they had a cuddle Doom. I thought it was cute. Um, I think they picked Doom because we had anti mage though. We last picked anti mage and they last picked Doom. They took a lot of time to pick that Doom, so I I don't think they had it planned. Mm -hmm. But I think the Doom here was picked fairly fast, so maybe they had it planned. And KSI is their uh, jungle player. But the Doom for Empire, they had a Cuddle, so Cuddle just gave him mana, and he just kept using Satar Blast and Skeletons to farm. Uh -huh. So, yeah, that was pretty cute. But now he's not going to have that, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, just obviously Doom, one of his biggest weaknesses is Monopole as well as his armor. Um, but I don't think armor is going to be a, a issue, at least not early on, because there's not much physical damage here looking on the uh, Dire side. I'm always confused about the Radiant Dire flip-flop. But uh, just in terms of the draft, we're assuming that Doom going in the jungle, obviously Dyer's got a better draft, right? At least they have better lanes for sure. The offensive yeah. pilot's actually looking very scary right now. Yeah, I, I actually like uh, Dyer's draft more. I think that uh, VP won't be able to deal... Like, Doom, Luna, Lestrak won't be able to deal with Garl, Cottle, um, Bane. I think winner against Queen of Pain mid is even. So we'll, we'll just have to see how skilled they are or how lucky they are with the runes. And I think Darkstar does really well against uh, Bounty Hunter. Even when Bounty Hunter gets pulled, a poor man shield, a Tango, and a Flask. So I, lane, laning wise, I think the Toss is, is uh, better. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm in agreement with you there. I'm actually going to fast forward since this is replay and we get to skip pauses. That's good. That's good. If we're casting this one live, it's a little bit tough. Uh, and meanwhile, I could introduce the players here. On Dignitas, way too sexy. He's going to be handling the Darkseer. AUI is going to be playing the Gyrocopter. Fogged on that Windrunner. Tides of Time playing the Keeper of Light. And last but not least, Universota, your good friend, playing uh, the Bane Elemental. Are you guys good friends? I just said that. Because uh, I see friends. you guys play. Okay, you guys are friends. <laughs> All right. I'm at 13.35, so take take a bit of time to actually get there. And 13.35? Uh, yeah. Um, so so meanwhile, here on the Radiant side, uh, Tame My Wild something is playing Queen CRZ. Of Pain. Uh, is up. Uh, Nishrak is going to be handled by NS. We have Airman God something on the Luna. We have KSI on the Doom and Santa playing Bounty. So Santa, generally the long lane player, might be going to long lane. I don't know. He's he's heading down, but maybe just going he's, with team. He's dodging. Too. He might be. Do they might know that um that. Wait, wait, wanna start the game first? Or? Yeah, yeah, 13.35 and pausing in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. So, Santa's dodging. Why? Um, well, it's smart, because, like I said, the Dark Star does beat the Bounty Hunter 101. So, if. And VP can't handle the trialing, so if they dodge 
and Bounty Hunter goes bottom, like, Bounty Hunter can't die. How, how is he gonna die? He's doing a rocket, sleep rocket, right? But he's just gonna go invis. They don't have any sentry wards, right? Let's see. Uh, not yet, at least. Yeah, they don't yeah. have anything right so, now, at least on the three uh, core heroes. There's so he can't die. And also, the Lushrak top, I mean, they can easily just push down a tower using Etic. So, this is really smart by VP here. I mean, how, how easily can Dignitas push down a tower as well? I mean, you, you talk about Lushrak, you know, obviously push down towers, but this trialing is not too bad. Illuminate as well as uh, Flat Cannon, if they want to go there at level 2, could actually bring it down if they do see that bounty by himself. Well, the bounty hunter just hit the creep wave, and then and the creep wave will hit, follow him around. So sure, and, and if, he's if, probably gonna get a lot of exp even if uh, your tower is gonna suffer some damage. There's some very very deep warding being dropped here. And obviously, they're expecting a jungle doom, as you can see the magic bush ward blocking two camps, and uh, this one blocking the actually the high level camp. And if doom can actually get, get access to those high level creeps, you can't actually jungle. I can say that with a uh, personal experience with that fact. So Fog didn't get any pulled any items mid, whereas t uh, CRZ, I'm gonna keep calling him ZRZ or Crazy, sure. even though he's called Team I Wild. No, um, he got pulled some items, so he might have a pretty big advantage, especially since Fog Fog just missed his block. And they both missed their block. Okay. All right. Something that we don't see too often in pro games, but hey, it's happening here. Now you were actually, I was actually very surprised when you told me that a difference of 100 gold or 200 gold makes a huge deal in the mid lane huge yeah when you know both uh players are playing similarly uh powerful heroes and it really comes down to the extra point of damage or survivability so we'll see that whether the pool actually helps out virtus pros mid lane a bit more but the cs looking a bit even and meanwhile it looks like we do have a a, a sort of an awkward smoke no that's invis right here on bane he's looking for the doom and doom is nowhere to be found right now and just seems like they want to rotate for a mid game but i really don't think he don't think they can kill this quap Doom just realized that he has to uh, swap jungles because they blocked his uh, camps. Yeah, but generally when uh, swapping jungle, it actually won't hurt Doom too much unless the uh, trialing rotates, which they might because uh, they're going to put solo Gaur versus solo Bounty. And it's pretty even as a matchup here, right? Uh, if Santa was pulled a PMS, then, then I think he would destroy Garo. Uh -huh. But um, he wasn't pulled, which is surprising because they usually pull him. So I think right now... Garo has the advantage. Yeah, we'll maybe see. because, uh, it, you know, when the pulling went to the mid instead, so they didn't have as much going on here. On the top lane here, Doom is uh, trying to go around. This actually grabs Satyr. Satyr is one of the better creeps to grab, in my opinion, as the, the regeneration is very good. And uh, you can actually jungle a little bit with a shockwave if your mana pool could support Oh, it. you don't have the mana, really. Yeah, yeah. You, the regen is really what you want for. Uh, the Dark Shore World is probably the best because of the uh, skeleton summons, but right now he's actually getting nothing done. So this uh, jungle Doom pick is so far looking very awkward. Yeah, it is. Um, I want to mention that Universe also got uh, Boots first, a level 1. Yes, so, on the big elemental. Yeah, I guess just looking really to catch people out of uh, position with that sleep to set up everything else. But being on the bot lane here, looks like they're going to go right here on AUI. AUI really did not expect the TP here from Luna. Are right, they going to go down one more time? One more beam. Beam's already on cooldown. There's one more beam. A couple more right clicks. One more right click. Salving under the trees. Nicely played here by AUI. And that's a lot of damage being suffered on these two guys. So very, very well played. A first rotation coming here from Luna. And I guess, uh, like you said, Virtus Pro wants to dodge and they're going to keep on dodging. But maybe Sand is going to try to get a kill here before going away. Fog just asked me what I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you say you tell him you're watching him right now. But actually on the bot lane here, Sand is still going on Tides of Time. Tides of Time also rotate here. This is actually a lot of lane switching. We don't see lane switching too much in pro games. What, what is your opinion generally on that? Like... Is it always true that whoever lane switch first gets the advantage, or it really comes down to, like, if you're lane switching into a better lane, and that matters more? Whoever lane switch first gets an advantage? Or, uh, well, advantage, right? sorry, whoever is forced to lane switch, the other team gets the advantage. That makes more sense. Well, I mean, if you're forced to, I mean, generally, yes, that's yeah, true. Yeah. But sometimes the game gets so chaotic that um, it's no longer true. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, the team that um, swaps lanes is taking a risk, sure. But it might change the game so much that um, it's hard to say who gets the advantage. Yeah, so like what he means by that is earlier we saw Luna TPing down. If they got that kill right there, that lane switch is you know completely justified and um, the advantage now back to them. But now we're going to see a Garrocopter plus Keeper against the Lashrak and uh, Luna. Again, hard to say actually who has the advantage, but I actually am feeling a little bit more on the Dire Squad still. They have better range at least and a lot more nuke damage if 
Let's say Garo ever catch Luna out of position before level six, you can easily get a kill on him. Yeah, I, I think I actually really like this by VP though, because they were destined to get destroyed in every lane this game. But they changed it up and now they're doing really well. It's still zero zero. They're not really losing that badly. They're losing very, very slightly, so I, I think this is great for them. Well, the jungle's doom's obviously a loss. Uh, so far, he still hasn't got much done. And the Darkseer, the Darkseer on the top lane here against uh, the Bounty, you talked about how Darkseer uh, so will still destroy him. So, so far it's 0-0, zero, zero, but I think it's not looking too good. And the AI I already have, of course, is Tranko Boots already finished, so he's moving very quickly. Again, the Rocket Barrage, even being left at level 1, does a ton of damage if you can fire off every single... Uh, I guess pulse or whatever nuke of that thing, and he's going obviously for the uh, stats bill, as uh, yeah. the HP of this hero is uh, not exactly too impressive. Oh, Queen Ping gets the mid kill. He doesn't even use his ultimate for that. And did you catch that? Because I did, and I didn't expect uh, anybody to be dying on the mid lane. And obviously, there's a huge advantage to be gained. But more meanwhile, on the bot lane here, KS or assuming NS going right in here true for the kill, uh, but. I do believe Garacopter is fine. He's going to be able to go into that Tranko Boots region. And this Doom still trying to gank around. Has actually rotated for a War Storm Creep. But without the initiation of anybody else, it's going to be difficult for him as well as Lestrak to actually land that first spell. But um, yeah, this game, we expected the Dire to have better lanes. But first blood went to uh, Virtus Pro. So they're actually looking pretty good now. Yeah, I actually didn't catch that myth though. I was paying too much attention to the Garacopter skill vault. Yeah, me too. I didn't expect actually a kill to actually go on the mid lane. So... Um, you do you think this lane is completely lost here for Falk now? I mean, it's uh, pretty big. Yeah, he, the he's screwed now. Um, the, the the lane was even beforehand, which is really a good play by Falk because he didn't get pulled and Qu Queen of Pain did get pulled. So, but now, even though it was even, now it's not. Yeah. So and, Fog, uh, you can see that just has a bottle. He does have his boots of speed coming, I imagine, right now. Yeah, there's a, that's his boots of speed. But Queen of Pain has a boots uh, bottle as well, something else coming in. Oh, that's a lot of item. That's tread. So. Uh, Probably a four thousand go ahead, and now Dignitas looking to roam and then try to maybe maybe offset the balance on the mid lane, but they're gonna find himself a Doom. Doom is checking on the bot rune here, and Doom is he gonna be able to get away? He's actually went yeah. for stats build. What what the hell is this? Is that what? just Devourer one and stats stats? What what is going on here? On the no, Doom did he part? did he not skill anything? He hasn't skilled anything. Oh maybe no, I don't think he skilled anything. Yeah, if it's it's on the stat, it shows right. Yeah, he's just saving it. So, okay, that, that makes more sense. He wouldn't have managed to use anything anyway, so. Sure, I guess when he needs, like, a last ditch uh, Scourger, if he could run away, maybe he's actually looking for a little bit more nukish build, if he could get away with it. Uh, yeah, Universe TV middle, he might be looking for some Sleep Shackle uh, combo here. Yeah, but, there uh, is no wards up on the enemy side. It's so important to actually keep up a ward on the opposite end of the hill during nighttime, and there's none of that right now. It looks like, uh-oh, Queen of Pain perhaps in a little bit of trouble. You can see how Fog is not running away. They just want to, oh, Shackle Shot, no, nowhere to latch. Power Shot into Brain Sap, but, oh, Blinks right into the end of that Power Shot. Not exactly the best communication by Dignitas, but got the kill regardless. And Queen yeah. of Pain, or excuse me, uh, Windrunner really needed that one, so a little bit of edge back towards Windrunner now. Yeah, that was a very big misplay here, but, oh, wow. Snake, um, I come snaking. Santa just died, uh. Darkster, I didn't see that either. But that was a misplay by Dignitas, but he still got the kill. They were looking for the sleep into Shackle, but Fog casted a Shackle before the sleep. Yep. We on the bot lane here. Uh, Luna has access into her Tranquil Boots, so these harass are not going to be as annoying to deal with. But you know, we're, it, we're AI right now, as I had a huge stutter, AI right now is actually uh, getting really good position and try to get some kill, but Queen of Pain in position right now, and AI perhaps actually going to be going down. Blink, she does have that access into her ultimate, we'll use it right now, AI, oh! We'll go down, drops her ultimate, unfortunately, able to get any damage done. And um, earlier we talked about being able to get the kill solo against Windrunner, and didn't actually use that ultimate. Very, very important here to actually get the kill on the bot lane. Yeah. Well, I think he got the kill when he was level 5, and he leveled up to oh, 6. Oh, leveled up to 6. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, they have a dust, so if they really want to kill him, they can, but they, they're not going to do it. Well, they do dust it right now here, and Tides of Time is going to come in. There's a Brain Stop, and Ennis is actually going the other direction. Oh, huge new coming from the Illuminate. Nice guess here. Uh, but unfortunately, he has gonna, it's going to go down as well. Doom, by the way, level 5. Now he has actually put all of the points into that level death, and he is uh, so far not casting it. I really, I mean, despite having his entire jungle ward off, this Doom actually has been fairly effective. I mean, yeah. somehow he's actually got 5, and I don't know how he's been getting it. 
this this game's looking really dangerous for uh, Nintosh right now. Luna just hit uh, six from the previous stuff of AUI, mm -hmm. so this lane's looking really dangerous for him. Also, Santa just hit level six as well, and Doom's about to hit level six. So, so ass assuming everybody on, on Virtus Pro hits level six without too much uh, you know difficulty, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna just Gank. Go for gank? Okay, go for gank. I yeah. was gonna ask, are they gonna push? Yeah. Are they gonna farm more? But or gank? Why, Universe why just gank, hit though? six too. Universe just hit six too. So, why? Well, they have to gank because they have a coddle, so, and they're not gonna push into that. Sure, fair enough. And there's a level six of uh, of Universe easy kill, fin scrip into Rocket Barrage, even Illuminate on top of that. So Luna being a little bit slow down. Um, is uh, Dignitas looking for a little bit more push, or are they gonna just try to farm up here? I, I, Dignitas always looks to farm up. That's just how they play. All right, back in the mid lane here, Fox Dota is going to eat a couple more stuns. There's a slow on top of him. Edic doing a significant amount of damage, looking for the shackle shot, not going to find it. Fog going to go down a second time. This Queen of Pain actually is just very, very effective. She's being everywhere, uh, picking up kills, and she's level 9 already. Once she hits 11, especially when these guys on the dire are you know, still a little bit weak in terms of the HP pool, oh. you can actually pick on a lot of free kills. Okay, Dino Toss is going to push for sure. They just got a mech, and they know the opponent doesn't have a mech yet. And right. that's a really big deal. They know they can take the fights for sure. Let's see if VP tries to counter push or if they try to defend. I, I think the best choice is just to uh, counter push. There's no way they can win a team fight right now. Yeah, but Lashrak's not really in position to do really pushing at any point. And yeah, I don't think they could actually get any exchanges on that. I just want to point out that just as you, you say that Dignitas is going to go farm, they, they push. So yeah, yeah. good job. Yeah, yeah good job. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> the overall game plan is still to farm. Like they're not gonna go like high ground or anything like that. But uh, obviously, when you get mechs and stuff, every team will push. The, yeah, obviously. regardless yeah. of their no, I'm, just, I'm just giving you a hard time. All right, Santa roaming around. It's gonna scope everything out. Is there any detection here on the? Yeah, there is a pair of dust. And let's see if Universe senses something is up. Oh no. I mean, good thing Santa didn't break out Invis trying to steal something like that. He he would. Oh, there is a dust. Oh, oh. They hurt the Invis, I think. Yeah, and and it was not able to to find him. So actually. Pretty nice dodge here by Santa. Now, without any dust, he could just track these guys or follow these guys to the ends of Earth. What, what do you think about uh, Santa's skill build here as he's going 2-2-2 two, two, two all over the place? It's pretty interesting. Um, I think the normal build is 2-1-2 two, two, and a max shuriken. Right. But, uh, I mean, 2-2 two, two, two is okay. It's hard to really say because maybe he just didn't have mana top and he wanted to hit him a little bit more. Sure. So, yeah. I'm not going to go too deeply into this. And looks like, like you said, the mech is uh, still ready to go and they're going to keep on uh, pushing. There's a lot of early game nukes uh, on Dignitas side, call down being the most important one right now. And Lumina is not too shabby, so... Let's see if uh, Airman buys a TP scroll. Okay, he did. So they might defend us. Alright, Airman, of course, the Luna player on the top lane here. So, firing those rockets back and forth. Very good job here by uh, Versus Pro, pulling the crew wave on the right side. And uh, that's, that means their tower is gonna, not going to sustain too much damage. TP out uh, from Dire. They're not going to continue with this push. AI going for the very standard uh, Lodar spell, I want to say? Or is you think he's going to do what? drums? No, it's AUI, come on. It's going to be carry. Okay. Hardcore carry. Well, I mean, oh, back in the mid lane here, as oh, we mid. do have one kill, Santa's going to go down as well. Where is the Eclipse? Finally, Eclipse being dropped with the creeper on top of everything. Doom on top of it. Way too sexy. Blinking from Queen of Pain, and everybody's going to go down. No, nice sleep here, but the Way Too Sexy is going to go down. Still, Universe Dota is going to eat a drum charge. One more Lucent Beam is going to finish the job. There's a Lucent Beam. I heard the Queen of Pain. Oh, and Fog is on the run, and I do believe they just got team wide. We, did we have a buyback? No buyback just right now. Kato's going to TP back. That was four for nothing. I don't think it's the end of it just right now because. No, that's for for two. For for two, yeah. Yeah, that that was um misplayed by way two because he didn't ca cast his mech earlier, early enough. But it was kind of weird because usually it's sometimes you want to save your mech just to like confuse your opponent, pop at the last second. But uh, they have a doom and he got doomed. He couldn't cast the mech, and whatever team fight advantage you had with the mech is completely gone with that. Yep. I'm very surprised that the that they dove uh, very much. So there's one thing that it's one thing it's you, that you could you know cast know that you could. Like, Doom him and then prevent the mech, but you you're not ever sure that you can always get it off positively like that. The the reason is because it, they saw AU at TP top, ah. and so if and Cuddle wasn't six yet, so if they if he TP's mid with the Luna, since like Luna was pretty deep, so he had to TP somewhere anyway, mm -hmm. then it will be a five versus one. They know that, and so they took the risk and they just ran in for it. Yeah, very very important. Very calculated thing. play. Yeah. And uh, that, again, is going to slow down Dignitas' early game gameplay. That mech, so far, got them a tier 1 tower, but wasn't able to get too much beyond that. And Virtus Pro doing pretty good. Going to quickly check out in terms of items uh, on the Radiant side. They don't have a mech coming in soon, but there is a uh, drums already finished here 
on uh, Airman, and that's pretty much it. Queen of Pain going for the quick hex, I imagine. Ultimate Warp already finished, and that's pretty much it. I'm very curious, actually, what is this Doom going to be going? So far, he's picking up utility items here and there, despite not having much items. Again, he's been very, very effective, which is pretty yeah, that impressive. Doom. That Doom on Dark Star was really big. Um, he, look at his skill ball. He's not maxing the Devour like you would expect. Well, he is going to be helping out Universe right now, but meanwhile, Santa's on the one big vacuum on back, but no, I think way too sexy, perhaps in a little bit of trouble. He does have that jump. Nice snipe here by the Windrunner. Still has that mech available. Surging, is he going to go for the Doom? He's going to try, but Doom, very, very tanky. Vacuum coming off, dude. What? The what? Shaco shot coming out of nowhere. Power shot's going to hit. Where's the vacuum? Vacuum still cooling down. Just a couple more seconds. There's Surge available now, and there is a pause. Holy okay. crap. That, that Shaco shot. But uh, very, very crazy team fight. I'm very surprised nobody died so far aside from the Bounty Hunter. And uh, I think I think Doom's going to be dead, right? Doom? Doom's yeah, he's going to be dead. And he, he's gone. The, Queen of Pain's going to run. Yeah. It shows that he's... No, and that's not track. That's the, that's positive track. Okay, good. I thought it was bug. But yeah. Um, If Dignitas had any vision of NS and Airman right now, I think AUI would TP. But uh, they don't. So oh. They might be able to go for a turnaround. Before AUI TP's in. We'll see. Because Queen of Pain does have his ultimate and he's gonna bottle up. So and the Doom is fairly tanky and he does have Scorch Earth. So if they take too long to kill him, they're gonna they might get some return kills, especially since they know that the mech is still off uh on Kuno. And yeah, normally I would skip past this pause, but I don't want to skip too far ahead and the team fight would be over. So this is a very good time to actually ask you who's who's actually ahead right now. Because in terms of the gold chart, Dyer is leading by a thousand, but that's not really too big of a deal because that's just that you know tower one tower or two. Um, they, they have all the towers. I don't, I don't still think up. I know who's ahead. Really? I, I, yeah. If I want to take a stab, blind guess. I'll say VP a little bit. Really? I, I would say Dignitas because they're up two towers. AI is doing pretty okay and they have their mech, so I feel like they could team fight a lot better. But you know, as we witnessed in the last couple of team fight, this Queen of Pain is just absolutely huge. She does actually have her ultimate, like you said, ready to go. So might turn things around. Might need two minutes. So I am gonna fast forward ahead now. No, let's not do that. I think let's this not do that. Okay. Talk about. So why well, do you think why do you think Virtus Pro's ahead just by well, timing? Well, there's what. Well, first thing is like there's no um Roche advantage for either team this game because okay. they do have a a Dark Star, so that's really good for Roche. At the same time, there's Track, and there's the Luna. So I don't think either team is gonna be able to just like sneak a Roche like really quick. Um, that's one thing. Secondly, they they're down two towers, yet they're not down by much. So, um, those towers, those three towers, if they get those three towers in return, then they're going to have a huge surge in gold. Sure. Yeah. And then they're going to win, like, straight up. Like, if they get those towers, and v um, Dana Toss doesn't take a huge advantage before those towers are taken, then they're going to win. Um, it, also, still, it still does not explain to me why you think that they're ahead right um, now. The other reason is because, well, I said slightly ahead. Also, Dana Toss, <laughs> after you get the towers... Generally, you get a huge map control. Uh, that usually comes from the mid tower. So the top tower doesn't really give you much, and a bomb tower does give you um, access to their jungle. But when you're against a Luna and Track, that access doesn't help you too much because they see you, and Luna's too dangerous to gank in the jungle. Right. You don't want to be going in there and suddenly eating an eclipse. Uh, and actually, one thing that we haven't talked about too much is how uh, how mobile this bounty has been. Uh, I will actually want to pull up his score to see and my hotkeys all effed up right now uh he's one one three and zero unfortunately but actually i, I thought the radiant team would be getting a lot more track kills because there's ha kills happening everywhere but so far they haven't been getting too much yeah um i think a lot of the kills are just random pickoffs like mid and then bottom uh aui died mid died stuff like that so yeah and but as the game progressed like you pointed out earlier radiant does have pretty good late game in that luna just by herself and of course uh, with a track gold of the uh, bounty hunter, should be picking up a couple more hundred gold here and there. And again, that Queen of Pain, I still, I still wanted to point out. I think I said it two or three times. She's one of those heroes that really snowballs out of control. And she, of course, got the first blood early. She's been very effective in her ganks. And still, you know, three, one, and five, really good score so far here by Queen of Pain. The only death, of course, was uh, off the pretty good gank from Universe and mid lane. So she's playing very well. Yep. Eclipse up in 19 seconds. This might look really bad for a Dignitas toss if AI doesn't TP right away. Yeah, they do have some awkward angle. Again, like you said, they don't have sight. So they might yeah. just uh, think that Doom's a free kill and, and go on him. You can say Universe is already getting ready to Nightmare. Yeah. 
And that that Doom's not easy to kill. He's gonna like, pop his urn maybe and just Scorch Earth, and he's gonna be max HP. Yeah. By the way, Scorch Earth gives you how much regen per second? It's like absolutely insane, right? Too much. 18 per second. All right, looks like we're ready to go. Making sure that we're still sync. Quickly check out onto your replay. 33, 55, 56, yep. seven, eight. Yeah. My replay is uh, a little bit down. All right, we still have to keep in mind that AUI does have the teleport score and the drum, so he could get back in that team fight in a hurry. It looks like we're. I'm pausing and. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> That's some tactical pause. The nightmare has been fired off. I do believe. Yep. It's on cooldown and it's it's on doom. All right. Cool story, uh, bros. Is AUI gonna TP right away? Because these pauses actually kind of help them. Yeah. Yeah. Right after a pause, you TP, right? I don't know, but like right on the pause, we're like, oh, it's I don't know exactly where Luna is. I don't know exactly where uh, where uh, maybe maybe. Well, we'll see if the TP comes in right now. No, t no, there is a TP oh, immediately. TP. Yeah, that really helped Dignitas. Shackle. They're gonna surround for the Shackle. There's a Shackle right now, but he's very, very do uh, tank. He did off his Skirt Shot, but unfortunately, unable to really get a lot of regen. And that Rocket gonna chase all the way for that Lashrak. But you don't want to chase too deep. Or maybe they do. They have the mech. They have the Dark Stairs still. Still looking for Shackle Fog. Shackle Shot is Fog. But here's an Eclipse. Eclipse doing a significant amount of damage. But he's gonna get nuked down. The Rocket gonna come in. S Sonic Wave comes in as well. But not enough damage being done. We do see Kato being going down. There's a Track Hill being claimed here and there. Queen of Pain gets dropped. Too, way too sexy. And I do believe Blue's gonna go down as well. Right now, this team fight is just looking horrible. Do they have protection? You bet could they do. Santa is gonna be going down. Wow, that team fight. That pause really, this really broke their back. This is a really huge, really, really huge, because the the Queen of Pain ulti is slightly long cooldown, but whatever. The Eclipse ulti is extremely high cooldown. So after this team fight, they might just go for a Roshan. They are very low in terms of HP and mana. They didn't get the balance. No, on they the can case. heal and go back for a Roshan. The, the Luna ult is long. It's 165 seconds. Uh, 160 seconds. That's really, really long. And the there's no way, no way in how they're going to challenge Roshan without the Luna Eclipse, correct? Yep. Yeah, okay, well, we'll see if that's exactly what they're doing right now. They're still kind of running back and forth. AUI is going to grab some mana and perhaps even put a little bit more pressure on the mid lane. Um, who, who was the casualty on the dire for that? Did anybody die? I don't think so, right? I don't think anyone died. Yeah. Um, Keeper of the Light died. Oh, yeah, Keeper did die. And again, a little bit of track going towards uh, the Radiant. But right now, <laughs> look at Sanda. He's still waiting for that teleport scroll. And unfortunately... Oh, okay. Good thing for him that well, there they was aren't no going to go for a rush. That might be a good idea as well, since they don't have much damage. They don't have the Luna Aura, for example. So yeah, Gyrocopter is one of those heroes that during mid game really takes a while for him to. Uh, he needs a couple of damage items before actually being able to actually power down Roshan. But I feel like uh, Virtus Pro dodged one right because they lost a pretty big team fight near in the jungle, but they didn't lose a tier two. They even lose a tier one mid. So. Yeah. It, it wasn't that bad actually. And now they're gonna have a lot more time for wait for the Luna Eclipse to cool down. And they should be okay. It was pretty bad. <laughs> it's not it, it was pretty bad. It was now, bad. Now, now, now the Darkster is like close to his um like as you mentioned, Queen of Pain is one of those snowball heroes and he did die and also once the Darkster gets that pipe, there's gonna be another like time frame where they're stronger. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna shut down And the they're already stronger. Shut down the Queen of Pain Eclipse, uh, or excuse me, the Sonic Wave, and shut down the Luna Eclipse a little bit more. Universe poking his head out, looking for the Fin's Grip. Fin's Grip does have a fairly uh, decent cast range, so if anybody gets Grip, it's probably dead. Um, as there's actually not many ways to cancel out. Well, I take that back. There's like a Luna Mini Beam, there's a Level Def, that's a Mini Stun, there's a Mini Stun from the Shuriken Toss. So, yeah, Dignitas, or excuse me, uh, Universe gotta watch his positioning. Meanwhile, on the top lane here, we do see Santa still roaming around. He's going for a quick Vlad, which is a build that we've seen from time to time. How do you think it's gonna work out here, actually? It's the best item build. You should always do it. Why? <laughs> um, you, you, when you gank, you need the mana, and it does give you the mana. Also, um, you can neutral. It's really, really good. Okay. All right, I'll take your word for a vacuum going on down the mid lane. There's a grip immediately on NS. Ken's gonna drop his doom. Unfortunately, he's being surrounded by three or four. No rocket on him right now. Oh, the rocket's gonna get dodged, and he's regening quite a bit. The second one is gonna slow, and yeah, that's gonna be yet another kill, and that's tier one tower. Is gonna go down. Meanwhile, though, there was a big dive on the top lane, and they got a Kado. A Kado for two. I think Dire will trade out any day, and I think a mid tower is way more significant for yeah. positioning and map control. Also, they're gonna get like at least half HP of the second tower. They might even get the whole tower. I think they're gonna get the whole tower. Yeah, Dignitas is looking kind of out of control right now. Drum charge just get pop uh, for the last team fight, and there's a Glyph being forced out. And right now, even with the the Radiant team coming back to defend this, they're really not in that position. There's a TP from. Uh oh. Central World gets gonna get dropped. Man, look at Universe just completely being prepared. The universe perhaps a little bit. They shouldn't die. Oh, there is gonna be 
Nice Shackle shot. Are they going to really go for it from this Shackle? They're going to try. Anis is going to go down immediately. Eclipse still ready to go, though. But there's so many creeps around. Queen of Pain drops off a huge ultimate. Universe does die. Worst side, Eclipse. No Eclipse being dropped just yet. Aya chasing away. Aya does not find the kill. And that's going to be it. Still very surprised that Eclipse was not dropped there. But perhaps... There's way too many creeps. Yeah, way too and many creeps and illusions, illusions from the yeah. wall. So... I don't know. I feel like right now, Dignikos is just grabbing way too much advantage. And Virtus Pro does have the possibility of a late game, but they're just not farm enough to really achieve that late game. They're really poor. Really. Like, 251 gold on the Doom? Like, Doom 251 gold? What? Like, he sure he went level 1 Devour, but that's unheard of. I mean, he, he was think he was checking runes, you know, for his, for his mid. He wasn't actually farming, so... Yeah, I'm not I'm not blaming him. I'm just saying he's under very, very under-farmed. Right. And Same I with Santa. Um, Luna only has drums, and... Like, at this time, usually you have BKB. For so, for Luna, sure. and he, he he's nowhere near that. Just just a simple Ogre up. So, I, I think this I, is a very good time to, to pull up the gold menu and to show the viewers. Like, 4,000 gold doesn't seem that big. But the fact that you nobody actually farmed, looks like they're going to try to change that around a little bit uh, by ganking Fog. There's a couple of stuns here. Oh, we're, the Smurf's got to hit. Where's the Smurf? Way too sexy. It's in position. He, yeah, is he going to go for the Shrek? The Shrek's the easiest skill. Shackle shot. Flying across, not going to find anybody, and that's going to be it. Uh, well, are they going to still coming around? There's the Eclipse against Way Too Sexy, Way Too Sexy. Pops a pipe, pops a mech, he's going to survive. Oh no, but Universe does drop AI's in position right now. That rocket just completely whiffed, and there's a Lucent Beam. I do believe uh, Virtus Pro should disengage now. They should be happy with that one kill. And, uh, well, with Mike and Mech and Pipe still down, maybe they're going to try for Tier 2. No, no, they won't. That was really good. Uh, now the airman's gonna get free farm bottom. They're getting, they're gonna farm middle as well, and they're stealing the opponent's jungle. So it's really good. Yeah, one thing to point out is that the Dyer has been uh, doing a very dutiful job in terms of stacking their own jungle. Mill Radiant haven't uh, found the opportunity to do so right now. This game's pretty back and forth. So going back to the build on, on Bounty Hunter, you're saying Vlad's, but I feel like this guy just needs some HP. You know, do, do you think you need to fit a drums in somewhere, or maybe even go for a BKB? Instead well, someone on this team already has a drum, and if you play the bounty hunter properly, then the drum might not be necessary. So stay back, track, and just provide aura, and make sure you farm up with jungles and stuff? Yeah. Alright. Alright, Santa coming around right now. There is a detection in the vicinity, and Santa should know by his own observer war being destroyed. I'm, I'm again, very surprised that Virtus Pro is still staying Mid in this vicinity. Back in mid lane. Are they really going to try to kill him? He well, well, grip, grip, no grip. The ganking Doom is just tough, and we do see recall from Tides of Time. Are they going to go right in here? Doom suddenly in a little bit of bad position, perhaps not expecting so many people. Luna is in position as well. The Rocket's going to whiff one more time, force that forward here for AUI. Where is the Rocket Barrage? Still a little bit on cooldown here. They do see, oh, there's a, oh, no, not going to be there, but Sonic Wave is going to be there. AUI, very, very low. AO is going to drop down, but look at that Doom, man, Shackle, and that's going to be it for that mid-game team fight. Buyback here from the Queen of Pain, but does not have the ultimate. Mech is down, Pipe I do believe is down. Uh, no, Pipe is still available. And uh, EI does also- oh, bye. Yeah. I, I gotta say, that's a, if they don't get Roshan here, that's a huge mistake. I think they they're might... gonna- Yeah, okay. Eclipse is down, and so uh, Sonic Wave is uh, down as well. There's a lot of team fight back and forth, but all these team fights slowly being won, like small advantage going to Dignitas one, you know, one team fight under another, after another, and they're gonna get the Aegis here as well. So I think with this Aegis, Dignitas is gonna be really, really far ahead. I'm not too sure about that, but they are, they are going to be ahead. I mean, the thing is that VP can always just win a team fight even after the Aegis, just by duping the Dark Star and getting BKB on the Luna. Oh, there is a uh, grip on Santa. Santa's going to eat a rocket as well. Uh, oh no, that vacuum. A quick blink out here by Queen of Pain. Nice player for And looks like Enna's going to just man up against four. There's a pipe on top. He's truly really going to try to do too much. Unfortunately, I not really accomplish anything. There's a mech beam pop as well. I got to say that Doom has to go on Dark Star every single time right he he's just way too important for the team carrying the mech carrying the pipe as well as vacuum and wall it, it, it's just on him and, and nobody else I, I feel like yeah i'm actually surprised v1 for that um chart roshan steal like that roshan fight because now having access into eclipse or sonic wave or doom yeah that one thing that can the only thing that can bring them the win like that's surprisingly like that like did i just say that you need a doom to win I mean, by the way that they're stacking items, I'm, I'm personally a never a big fan of stacking your pipe and the mech on the same hero. 
for not not because you know doom is in every game but because if you just like your your hero out of position or you get swapped out or whatever whatever mistake that hero makes then suddenly your entire team is effed and and that's what way too sexy has has a big you know burden on his shoulder and if he ever gets doom like you said yeah that i, I really believe that's the only thing that carries him back to be honest <laughs> doom him before the mech and pipe gets off i think he should farm a blink dagger but also a uh, copter just farmed the uh, three stacks of ancient so good stacking by Nate Natas. but yeah i think if you if he gets a blink, that might be uh that might be what he needs to do not get doomed. Oh, for a second I thought you were saying doom get a blink to initiate, get the doom. Oh, that 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 might not be might not be bad too. Okay, all right. So right now we do see uh doom has been kind of cycling through his uh, neutral crease back and forth. It's gonna be a wolf, which is gonna help a little bit in terms of damage. Universe continue to poke ahead, uh, looking for those uh, grips. I'm not gonna find a couple right now. Uh, and, and here's the thing about Keeper of Light. Not only is he a really counter, great counter push hero, personally I like to play him a lot because he's a support where you could get a lot of farm. It's not uncommon for him to actually get a, a pretty quick hex just as a support on the 4 or 5 roll because he's blasting creeps all day long. But Ding Toss for now is going to be doing a huge smoking on the bottom lane. Or just looking around. Just chilling in the jungle, alright. If they do pick off one right now, it's going to be another tower and Santa oh, breaks up. Yep, there you go. That's just rough right now. There's just very, very lack of uh, map control on the Radiant side. The, if you look at the mini map, the wards are very much so in the favor of Ding Toss. And are they going to push the tier 2 for this? And I yeah. think, yeah, the Radiant's not going to fight for it. They're going to try to trade a tier 1. I don't see VP winning this unless they uh, break a really good timing where they get BKB, Sheep, and Mech at the same time. Ooh, the Dyer's actually going to try to defend this, and here we go, wait, actually, there's immediate doom, that's exactly what they need to start the team fight. can actually burst him down, Sonic Wave on top as well, they do bring him down, A on the middle of everything, well, he's actually just manning up, there's a cliff dropping down, there's a team fight, I think that's a team fight that we're looking for, A just gets dropped as well, ties of time extremely low, are they going to try to fight over this immediate buyback here from way too sexy A AUI? Uh, of course, respawns with that Aegis Immortal. There's that's just really nothing else you can ask for. But look at Fog. He somehow already has a Scythe of Vice. There's a great Shackle on top. And I do believe KSI is going to go down here. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he can win this anymore. Holy shit, Sheepstick. Yeah. I mean, that was that was a perfect team fight, right? Eclipse on top with BKB. Doom immediately for, for the Mech and Pipe. But the buyback and the, the fact that Tier 1 Tower is still alive. And Fog had a Hex on the middle of that team fight. That was just backbreaking. Suddenly, to tier three is in trouble, and I really don't think they can defend this with Clip, Sonic Wave, as well as Doom being down. Yeah, everything's down. Oh my God, no! I don't think they can defend this either. Yep. Yeah, well, well <laughs> and that's trying to do some crazy stuff. Got forced that forward power shot's gonna miss. Vacuum backwards, it's not gonna miss. But yeah, Aya right now, it's not, doing way too much damage. You see Bounty Hunter trying to delay this push a little bit by drawing the creep wave away, uh, doing some shenanigans back and forth, and I think. I think they have might delay the push on the mid. Oh, they backed off. Yeah. Maybe respecting the uh, nuking damage, despite the fact that nobody has ultimate on the Radiant side. I mean, well, Dana Toss trusts their late game play. They usually win the late game. So, I mean, it's, playing it safe isn't that bad. It's not like they're giving their opponent much by not pushing mid lane. Either way, their opponent's docking their base. Well, they're giving them cooldowns, which is going to give them like another chance to team fight. So, but again, you're so far ahead at this point, maybe that's not too big of a deal. Uh, AUI did have to buy back in that last team fight, but still has a Manta style still finish. Gyrocopter, in my opinion, is, is one of those carries that really needs a lot of items to start, and a lot of levels, more importantly, to, to start doing damage. But I think he's hit that peak, and at these team fights, I think even Luna is, is starting to run from her. Um, there's a BKB on the Luna, but, you know. I think Garlcopter early game is really strong, like not in the right clicking aspect, but in his like, nuking aspect. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I don't think like, like what? what yeah, he's gonna die too. <laughs> what is? He tried to get the courier. Yeah, I know, but like, why? Is this no, 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 like? I don't think he tried to get the courier. I think the courier just unluckily scuttled him, and he was like, "Fuck, might as well try to go it, since I'm screwed anyway." All right. Well. Yeah. Sorry, you were talking about Garrocopter. You guys actually run him as a yeah, support yeah. a lot, right? So... Yeah, because he's so strong early game. He's so strong the entire game. So, I don't think that he really has a weak point. Well, here's uh, the thing, though. Here's the thing. If you guys run him on support, does he actually get farm eventually? He hurts. A lot. Like, revolt farm. <laughs> yeah. Like late game. Well, no. He, I feel he's pretty useless in the late game without farm because... No, he still hurts a lot for really? some fucking reason. Just with flat cannon and not... Yeah. Like, okay, alright. I'll take your word on it because you guys are running that strat. 
And how, what do you think the success rate on that hero is? You guys just pick him when you have it, when you can? Uh, I must not go too much into detail. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. I completely understand. Alright. I think the top's gonna try to close this game out by taking the last, uh, or the second wreck on the top. And, uh, really. Ooh, nice shot. Oh. Yeah, I don't think Virtus Pro could come back from this. It's just too much. Well, they're gonna try it one more time. BKP on Luna. A on, oh, there's a Doom. Again, on the correct hero this time. And they're gonna try to bring down AI. AI does have the match style. A little bit on cooldown right now. Trying to TP out. It's gonna get TP out. And the cool thing is, it's gonna get recalled back by the, uh, by the, uh, uh Keeper of the Light. There's a Eclipse. Not gonna the kill Keeper anybody. might die. Before before that happens. Oh, Ugh. keeper does die. But again, he's gonna die too. Oh no, F F he missed the uh, the sonic wave, but he's still gonna die. Yeah, there's one more kill. This might be a mid tower. Well, they're they're gonna have to fight through big creeps on the mid lane. Yeah, I think they're fine. They being the ding toss, uh, despite losing that team fight. Yeah, they're they're fine. I, but, uh, actually, the thing is, how how did the Virtus Pro team actually win that team fight? Because the the BKB on Luna was pretty. She popped it on the hop of her hill, and, and that was pretty far away from the team fight. It was, it was because the Inatal spread out, and the Doom once again hit the uh, Darkstar. Uh -huh. their, their heroes aren't very tanky. Universe trying to do something by himself. Gotta be careful that Luna does quite a bit of right click damage. There's a, there's a little bit of ceiling damage. You're right, that's gonna be a tier 1 tower. So, catching the uh, Dire team off a little position. Way too sexy again coming in. I think way too sexy could play a lot more aggressive now, knowing that Doom is on cooldown. But not gonna do so for now. Way too could have just walled, piped, mech, and just vacuum, and maybe the could have wiped them. But, um, well, if someone would have TP'd in, it would have been 3 vs 5 or something. Right. And maybe they would have team wiped them, but they're gonna play it safe. Losing one tower isn't that big a deal. So, I, I think that's the right choice, to just play it safe. Are they gonna wait for the next Aegis, or are they gonna just try to another push? I think they're gonna wait for next, uh, next Aegis. Yeah. Same. But, um, that team fight, they spread out, and Way too got doomed once again. And when Way too gets doomed, the other heroes aren't tanky at all. So, if they get solo Eclipse, which they did, then they're gonna die. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the survivability on the Dire side is relying on that mech and pipe being popped. Oh, Santa's gonna get caught one more time. Where's the detection? Sentry, Hex, everything on top of Santa. And I think they might actually be able to push off of this. At least a tier 2. They're gonna try yeah. for that. And, uh, Queen of Pain is in position. He does finally have, or he had his Hex for a couple of team fights. Really wants a BKB. But don't, just don't have to go to it to actually really get that. Did someone TPL? Oh, okay. I disagree with his play from uh, Way 2. I think he should be farming the neutrals instead of pushing with his team right now. But, really? Yeah. Why yeah, is that? No, well, he can kill the neutral and then come back. Ah, okay. That's the thing. Just squeaking in the extra bit of gold. Tier 2 is going to be forfeited, yep. basically. And uh, are these guys going to try to smoke or try to flank? No, I, I really think they need to just defend. Oh, no, there's a grip. On Quab and if Quab dies, no, he doesn't oh, wait. Wasted. Media cancel. Did he cancel himself? No, Lucent being canceled. And here we go, Team Fire breaking out. They can focus on the Doom and look at the Shackle Fog just hitting it home. There's a Mech being popped. There's a Doom on top as well. This Doom is gonna be on Universe after all the spells have been dropped on the Dark Sarah. Pretty good choice here. Smurf's gonna hit on two and look at Luna's right click damage. Extremely impressive. Queen of Pain comes back right now. How is actually Virtus Pro winning this team fight? Shackle Shot not gonna latch right now. Fox on the run. Fox gonna go down. He's gonna try to beat TB out with run and it's oh, gonna make wow. it out sick play three on both sides. Whew. so yeah vp can't win this yeah vp is actually winning these team fights and i don't understand how that team fight everyone focus on the doom who has a vanguard a mech so and he's really really tanky active. and yeah and, and and a scourge earth yeah and he didn't he didn't die to the end so he he actually ended up popping his mech before he died also the wall was complete complete miss the grip was a fail he gripped and then he got loose and beamed so they wasted two spells already. So if I mean if you waste your spells like that, then sure you you can die. They're not tanky enough to to afford mistakes. But like sometimes when you're extremely extremely tanky, you're just like oh whatever. But if you're not tanky and you're against burst damage and against Queen of Pain against Eclipse, you, you, I mean if you fail, you're gonna die. Quick item check just on top of everybody. Gyrocopter is about to finish his butterfly, and in which case his damage potential is gonna be uh, unignored. And here you go, ties of time. Rods of Atos, you, you're a big fan yeah, of that. We'll, we'll talk no, about I'm that not. once the team fight is is over. He, uh, he he he. Why is he getting Rod of Atos against a Blinker and two BKB heroes? Well, I would say why would you ever get Rod of Atos in the first place? But you you're a big fan of Rod of Atos, so walk me through that one. Generally, why Rod is good? The slowest sixty percent. Cast range is insane. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And the stats, the stats are decent. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, the stats are decent. So. 
But Italian not this game, right? Not against Blinkers. Yeah. Low cooldown as well, so. Decent cooldown, decent. Decent cooldown. 16 seconds. Alright, Keeper of Light just trying to ward everybody away with his own presence. They are gonna get this mech, uh, Aegis for free. When I say for free, I don't. I, I think the Radiant's gonna try to contest this. And this is actually just walking right in, but unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna be quick enough. Shackle Shot's gonna be to him the tree. Vacuum downwards. Oh, not into the pit, unfortunately. And the AI is gonna just try to go to walk. There's a track that's gonna help everybody out, run away. And this is just going on a journey on his own right now. I guess he's forfeited his life. No teleports go. Yeah, he knows he's gonna be dead. He's gonna try to waste as much time as possible here. He's gonna try to farm some creeps before he dies. You see that? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> he's gonna spin our from. He like tried splitting Earth the creeps. Yeah. Like a boss. That's pretty boss. Yeah. But with the Aegis up now, I think the Dire team is going to try to mid push or bot push one more time. And uh, Radiant is going to need something special. Quick item check on the Radiant side. There's a Yasha up on Luna with 2,000 go. I think most likely she's going to save it for buyback. Not nowhere near the Mansa just yet. And Doom has pretty much nothing. Lashrak, fairly tanky, but still dead. Queen Pain does have a gem on top of what she got previously, and no BKB finish on Santa. I feel like they, I feel like Virtus Pro just need a couple more minutes. There's a chance that if the Garl gets doomed before he pops the flag cannon, I mean Butterfly Manta on single target isn't that much. So if he gets doomed, not they to mention just, he has shitty range. Yeah, so if they just charge him with BKBs, they might be able to win this fight. I'm not too sure though. I think they're still gonna try to doom the Dark Star. Yeah, I, I think that's again Mech and Pipe. And, and the fact that without the mecha pipe, the rest of the team is very squishy, like you said. Well, I so. mean, the chances of way too falling for us is so low when when you're pushing that I feel like they might just say screw it and doom the, the Garrocopter. Well, we'll see how it goes. As Doom is smoked up on the north side, they're gonna try to come in from the from the top. Sensual is dropped here, I'm trying to prevent Santa from going anything crazy. And here we go. My my camera's on the Doom. He's trying to run in. He sees high the time. He doesn't want him right now. Way too Wait, sexy. No. It's gonna get caught again. The rocket's gonna hit on top of everybody. Luna on the middle, but Luna's actually losing this right click while they need a little bit of help. Yes, uh, Aegis is gonna be dropped. Doom is about to run out in about a couple more seconds, and Doom is really out of position. Does kill women before doing so. The Aegis though, providing, uh, proving to be the the difference maker here. Everybody on the Radiant is so damn low TP out here from Doom. They need HP, and I do believe Dignitas just basically just, I guess, full Brunto and then just outlasted the Dire team or the Radiant team. I think the Radiant team played better than Teamfight, but they just don't have enough resource. I don't think the team fight's over yet though, they're gonna keep going soon. Well, they're they're trying to regen out the Rax is uh, taking a lot of damage. DCTP coming from Queen of Pain right now, Shakoshan not being latched. But yeah, without all these ultimates on the radiant, I'm not too sure how well they can fight this one. Doom is trying to right-click a defensive sleep being used way too sexy. Where's the wall? Where's the vacuum? That's on everybody! Oh. And that's GG. That's, that's GG. GG. Yeah. That was that that fight was so sick though. Like the the fact that they almost won that fight. Like, you, you see what happened? You said the Doom was out of position, but he, he just ran in one first forward, and they couldn't run past him. Yeah. He, he does too much damage. He has, a, he has um, a crit wolf, Yes. and he runs too fast, so he just runs and hits you, and AV crits hurt so much, so they had to focus them. Actually, was, was able so to, tanky. Actually was able to kill the Windrunner with the four Staff and the uh, with the Hex, so he, he really pulled his way in the team fight. So, I mean, this game, Dignitas... Made a couple of mistakes towards the end. Uh, I felt like they should have uh, won those team fights and made this game like kind of uh, e easy. But um, n you know, credit to Virtus Pro actually fighting really strong and, and that Doom Doom pick and the Doom play was again very impressive. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not hard for a team to make a mistake against things they're not used to, and Doom is not a hero you're used to. Sure. That's definitely yeah. right. So this is game one between Virtus Pro and Dignitas. Are you feeling like you want to cast game two? MV? Yep. This looks like a pretty good series. Both teams playing very well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. And uh, Game 2 will be coming up very shortly. So stay tuned for that as well. And until next time, this is Eternal MV from No Tide. And Luminous signing off. See you guys.